M. M. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Hey everyone! It's Hostel Peach again! <laughs> this is the one I was most excited about! Freddy Fish 4! Because this is the one I played the most as a kid! It's my favorite Freddy Fish of them all! <laughs> And I think it's, I honestly believe this game is what helped develop my love of westerns. <laughs> or it could have been my grandpa and... There's Cousin Calico's Ranch! I'm ready to go! Could have been my grandpa and his love of westerns, I don't know. Moving on. Calico? Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Maybe I like questions because I'm Texan? Hmm. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! I'm overthinking this. Anyway, we gotta rescue those hogfish! <laughs> Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Ooh, a blacksmith. Underwater. Customers! Because <clears throat> why not? Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tulso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. He's adorable. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. At least he has good business. <laughs> Let's go to the tavern saloon. I think I got my genres mixed up. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm 
Marty Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Mom, I. Let's just go inside. Hello, bartender. Hi, I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Lou. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. This looks interesting. Look, Freddy. Maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Eight, six, seven. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Hey. Yeah, paper don't taste so good. But at least it has fiber. What can I do for you kids? Cinnamon soda, please. Ooh. Coming right up. Oh, oh, if you get the timing right, it's very difficult. I messed up. Oh, oh. I think I got it. Cool. Ouch. Very nice. Mm. Yum. If you mess up, it crashes on the floor. <laughs> what the? All oh, right, this thing. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Let's go. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Suspicious. Let's go this way. Actually, we have to go this way. Creepy. Do you think that could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. It certainly looks rusty. That ain't budging. It won't open. It's locked. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Nine. I remember correctly. Eight. Again. 
Again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. I have no words. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy. Can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Yeah. <laughs> It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oh, Idiot. I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a ten gallon hat like mine, uh, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm. An orange 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. Why are children's villains so stupid? Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Let's go then. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> all right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Now that the roadblock's out of the way. Hello. You look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. How big was that piece of wood supposed to be again? Six feet by six feet. Oh, right. Hint, hint. Hello. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sir Hero Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. <laughs> Say, is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Well, there's the pieces of wood. The urchin. Oh! It's six by six, I think. This should be useful. Boy, I hope those edges are sanded. <laughs> Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. Nope.
bitches need water. You can't get in there. The water level is too low. Need a handle. Come back later. Hey, why is it so hard to position that? Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Darn. Ooh. I remember this. Hey, Luther. What's round and purple and pokey? Hey, is it on me? <laughs> no, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Uh oh. <laughs> Something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Yeesh. Remember what it was? Yeah! Boy, that was fast. Was it the bone? Guess not. All I have left. Whoa! Boy, that was fast. Uh, I'll figure it out later. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. 
Looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time. Pretty good time. Okay, and here's a mini game. A very fun one, actually. Are you ready to start? Here is a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. It's asteroids! My problem is I'm not very good at this particular game. It's still fun though. Here's your piece of wood. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Thinking what I'm thinking. Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your screwdriver now. Finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Thank you. Now let's go. Ah, that's what it was. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. <laughs> Great. Hello. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clamps. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Dude. It's an awfully strange poem. Anyway. Oh, ah, pick. Fit blocking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Fickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price, just three purple sea urchins per nut. I haven't had three purple sea urchins. I'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. 
Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle bit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yeah. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you... This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another yeah. wheel nut. You need two more purple sea urchins to get that gum. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Hi, Caramba. Oh, Hello, hat. Well, ten gallon hat. Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked on a hat. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? I took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. Another fun thing. <laughs> what? Ooh. This buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. How come the buoy is only floating a little bit? It looks kind of deflated. Oh, I bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my Uncle Blubber. And he's a whale! Wow, oh, this puzzle. Take it. And that purple sea urchin. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Now you just stay up there. Backtracking is so boring. A 
goes this way. Yeah. Let's turn it. Here, let me help. We did it, Luther. Why is the room spinning? It's not, Luther. You are. <laughs> oh, that's better. Much better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now. Which means we can go in here. memory guy doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, this is a weird thing. It's Cayenne. Cayenne? Um, Cayenne is kind of hot. Oh, dude, don't do that. Spicy. It's pepper. Black pepper. pepper. Really? Okay, this kid's uh, stupid. Uh, uh, Bless you. Wow. What's this? Is that anything like lemonade? Uh, no. Not really. It's a little more sour than lemonade is. 
boy, you're not kidding. <laughs> I kind of like it though. It's an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of like sour stuff. Seriously, give me some sour gummy worms and putty in your hands. <laughs> Oh, right, the wheel. Ta da! Good as new. We did it. It's fixed, and it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spooks him something awful. What's he got against glue? Uh-oh. No! Joe, she misses a child. Gum, please. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Heh. <laughs> no refunds. I'm done with him. Hey, I've got an idea. That's enough pop. Be free, little boy. It's coming back. <laughs> I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye bye, Bowie. Hehehe. <laughs> and now we have a briefcase. This suitcase had a three ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! Good time indeed.
Everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> it's a joke. Ooh. Very nice. Thanks. Yes, thank you indeed. Broken man. <laughs> Here you go. Going here. He said gold star, right? I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Very nice. So much backtracking. Hey, Sheriff, this is for you. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty ten-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there? That's a loading zone. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a ten-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. You got all the parts! <laughs> I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Uh oh. We just gotta make the hat orange. Piece of cake. A little gross. Yeah, very gross. Don't think about it too much. Freddy's trying not to. He'll make you the belt. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Ta -da. Here, this is for the belt buckle. Yeah, there's no fire underwater. <laughs> My best work. All that's missing is about. Ta -da. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please call me Nelson. Thanks, friend. <laughs> All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! It's a lot of hard work. You're taking care of live animals, dumbass. <laughs> now we assemble the disguise. What do you think? It might be a little big for you, but do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Better than before. Good. It's a belt buckle. Here we go. There. Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Luther, Let's go. You stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. It's a take on the trench coat oh, bit. This is a... Well, howdy, <laughs> fellow wrestler. And howdy. I you saw nothing. Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um. Poor Mori. He's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. Unfortunately, we get busted. We did it! Shh. We did it. We're inside. We 
Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Uh-oh! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? Improvise. It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. I clicked one on the bottom. There. That does it. They just roll off into oblivion. Let go. We're busting out. <laughs> Up here. <laughs> and spin this thing, whatever it's called. I don't exactly remember. This is a nice dirty chain. Is it the window itself? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Not equipped on the window the first time. Oh well. This should free those hog fish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. How we get out of the way? Freedom! What? No! Come back! Please come back! 
We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Mori? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. We kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> When the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? It's different each game, by the way. In this case, it's this Luther guy. And I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. That could be uh, a that was a weird glitch. We also found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad you worked <laughs> out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for Now she has helpers. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is off to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Sweet. Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. That's always fun. Still my friend. <laughs> Still my favorite Freddy Fish game. Out of nostalgia. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> Anyway, there's one more Freddy Fish game to go. <laughs> Do join me next time. But until then, I'm Hustle Beach, and I will see you guys later. Yeah.